So Bellwood Annis draws first blood here tonight, leading 8-0 with 648 left in the opening quarter, and Plummer set to kick off. And he drills one straight up the middle. Fielded at the four by Desch straight up the middle, and he is uh, stood up and driven back from the 22-yard line as Bellwood Annis is fired up after that 36-yard touchdown run by Zach McCauley. And the uh, two-point conversion on a great play by Luke Evans, the uh, junior backup quarterback who was the uh, holder on point after. He snared that high snap and was able to make lemonade out of lemons. So Tyrone will try to respond. Starting at their own 22-yard line. Ryhart. Barking out commands, takes the snap, and the toss right. Making the turn around the corner is number 22. That's Christian Getz, a sophomore running back. And we've got a uh, procedure call against Tyrone, so this uh, young offense having uh, trouble getting going here in this first quarter with 6.41 left. That's uh, second penalty for the offense, and uh, the defense added one as well. Six men on the line of scrimmage. So the five-yard penalty will uh, back it up in the gate. Nice run by Getz on the toss sweep. And then the ball will be spotted at the Tyrone 17 yard line. First and 15. The receivers come wide to the near side of the field. Motion man is Getz, Ryhart straight back to pass. And he looks right, dumps off a screen and that is, it might have been touched by one of the defenders, but it was intended for Zach Galt, and uh, one hop to, to him, so an incomplete pass brings up second and 15 from the 17-yard line with 6.20 left here in the opening quarter. Let's give you that uh, Bellwood Annis defense. Finish it up, Trey Campbell, Jared Minori, Tyler Beach, and Bobby DeArmit are the linebackers. DeGaul and McCauley are the corners. Nate Plummer is the safety. So players on both sides uh, going two ways here tonight. And another flag is Reihardt that time operating out of the shotgun. Ball start against the offense, so Four penalties for Tyrone here in the opening quarter. Three of them by the offense. So again, they back up towards their own goal line. This time it'll be at the 12. And it's now second down and 22 to go. Tunamir referred to Reihardt as a magician. I think he's going to have to pull a rabbit out of the hat here tonight as he takes the snap out of the gun, heads to the right side, and he has nowhere to go as that play was slow developing, and Bellwood Annis was all over that one. That looked like a slow motion replay, quite honestly, because there was just no speed on the Tyrone offense trying to get Reihardt around the corner, and Bellwood Annis was there en masse to uh, prevent that. No gain on the play. 5.51 and counting left here in the opening quarter. 8-0, Bellwood Annis with the lead. And Tyrone facing a third down and 20 at their own 12-yard line. Ryart this time moves under center. Takes a look at the defense. And it's called an audible. And he drops straight back to pass. Having a look, he's going to air it out down the field. And Desch just can't get underneath it at the Tyrone 42, or the Bowen Annis 42 yard line. Well, I talked about Reihardt trying to pull a rabbit out of the hat tonight. 
And Desch is, is going to be his favorite receiver this year. They're the only two returning starters for Tyrone and Desch last year. Average 22.7 yards a catch for Coach John Franco, but that one was just past his outstretched fingertips as he got in behind the defenders. So that'll bring up another punting situation, and Ryhart will stand just inside his own goal line. Under five minutes left here in the opening quarter. 8-0 Bellwood Annis. As Ryhart sails one to midfield, fair catch called for. And we get a fans wanting a penalty for a late hit. And the fair catch is Nick DeGaulle will hold it in. But uh, no flags on the fo- on the uh, field. So with uh, 4.42 left here in the opening quarter, Bellwood Ann is up 8-0, and they'll have the football at their own 46-yard line. So we'll see if uh, Nate Plummer, well, as we get a stoppage by the officials, not sure what that is about. It might have been because we're looking up at the scoreboard clock. I don't believe it stopped on the uh, change of possession. And that is what it is. They're going to add 11 seconds onto the clock, so it'll be four and a half minutes now left in this opening quarter. Now we're set to go. And Plummer will move under center Zach Doyle. One receiver split wide right to the near side of the field. Motion man is McCauley. And that play goes absolutely nowhere as Tyrone's defense has uh, got their game on. That was Beach that ran into a wall of uh, white jerseys at his own 48 yard line. So no gain on the play, uh, check that gain of two on the play. And that'll bring up uh, second down and eight yards to go. I don't care uh, how good a shape you're in early in the season. You get stuff like that, that's, you're going to feel it. Same formation again for Bellwood Annis. Movement on the line, but no flags, and they run a toss sweep to McCauley, and he's met in the backfield. And he's going to lose a couple of yards back to the original line of scrimmage. So again, this Tyrone defense is uh, doing all it can to keep it a, a close ball game with eight. To nothing to score for Bellwood Annis with three and a half and counting left here in the opening quarter. The loss on the play will be one. It'll be a third down and nine to go. This Beach checks back in and he'll replace Nick DeGaulle. The slot back position. Three minutes left, opening quarter, 8-0. Bellwood Annis, they have the football. Just on their own side of center. But third down and nine. And now we get another whistle and timeout called by Bellwood Annis. So with 2.51 left here in the opening quarter, it is 8-0 for Bellwood Annis over Tyrone. You're watching the 76th Backyard Brawl live from Bellwood Annis Memorial Stadium on WHVL-TV.